Hello and welcome to the Robert R. Muntz Library Tutorial Series. Today we are going to show you how to identify and differentiate between different types of sources. A single source can be primary, secondary, or tertiary, or a combination of them depending on the context you use it in. Primary sources are first-hand accounts of an event. They are created by someone who has a direct connection to the event in question. They document viewpoints, events, people, and the culture of the time you are studying. If you are trying to determine if a source is primary, think about who created the source, how does the source relate to the creator's experience of an event or time period. Examples of primary sources include diaries, speeches, photographs, social media posts, oral histories, and more. A new or updated form of a primary source can still be used as a primary source, for example, the text of the Declaration of Independence that you find on Wikipedia contains the same information as the original document. You are still able to analyze it as you would any primary source. Secondary sources offer secondhand accounts of events. They compile information from primary sources and other secondary sources. They analyze and interpret the raw data of primary sources. Secondary sources can include textbooks, scholarly articles, and academic books. Here are some more examples of secondary sources. Tertiary sources compile, organize, and summarize other sources. Tertiary sources include almanacs, fact books, directories, bibliographies, and encyclopedias. Can one source fall into different categories? The answer is yes, and it depends on your topic and how you use the source. For example, normally you would not use a textbook as a primary source, but if you were researching education in the United States in the 1950s, a textbook from the 50s could be used as a primary source. In this instance, the textbook would show what students at the time were learning and what was considered valuable in the education system. If you're not sure if your source is primary, secondary, or tertiary, or you're not sure how to use it in your assignment, contact your librarian. For information on how to find primary sources, visit the Muntz Library History Research Guide linked below. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to identify different types of sources. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful tutorials and other library content. You can find us on our website at uttyler.edu library, as well as on our Facebook page and Twitter account at Muntz Library. Thanks for watching.